Hi, in this video, we're going to think about how we can make a bubble blower using Maker's Empire 3D. I'm going to think about bubble blowers and I'm going to think about what parts I need to make a bubble blower. I definitely need a handle so I don't drop it. I need a long stick so I can dip it in bubble mixture and I need some shapes on top to dip my bubble blower in the bubble mixture and blow bubbles through. First, I'm going to open Shaper. I'm going to start with this kind of soccer ball shape for my handle. You can use any shape you want. Next, I'm going to add a column, which is like a long tube or pipe shape. Hmm, but it's pointing the wrong way. I'm going to need to use the rotate tool to move it around so it's laying down and I need to move it down to touch my handle but this stick is still way too fat and not long enough. If I use the resize tool to make it longer it also makes it fatter. If I make it skinnier it just gets shorter so that's not going to work. So what I need to do is make it skinny and then change to the free resize tool by tapping on the resize button here. Now I can hold that and stretch my stick out as long as I want and make sure it's touching my handle. There, that's looking pretty good. So now that I've got a handle and a stick, I need something to blow bubbles through. I'm going to use this simple ring shape. I need to move it so it's right up the end of my bubble blower and probably make it a little bit bigger so it's about the same size as my stick. There we go. We've made a very simple bubble blower. If you want to make a fancy bubble blower, you can add more rings or different shapes to the end of your bubble blower, but make sure that they've got a hole in the middle so that you can blow bubbles. Now you can go and try to make a bubble blower too. And remember, you can use any shape for your handle and you can use more than one ring if you want to make a fancy bubble blower. Have fun.